This is video number four of 10. And today's topic is about teamwork. So here we go. Number one, teamwork. Number two, cooperation. Number three, community or community. Number four, supportive. Number five, team player. Number six, collaboration and collaboration tools. Number seven, conflict resolution. Number eight, team building exercise. Number nine, good communication. And number 10, listening skills. So let's get Get started help out here's a picture of somebody that's helping out another person hey buddy hey friend can you help me out can you help out I'm trying to get to that building I need to go to the dentist and I need your help hey I can't open my door or hey I want to get onto the sidewalk can you help out please I need your help I'd like to help out. I'd like to help you. Where are you going? I'm going to help out at the food bank. It's a place where they give food to people. I want to volunteer. The next one is cooperation. This is not, not cooperation. Co-op, co-op, cooperation. Something like this. People working together to get something done. They are cooperating together. How are your cooperation skills? Hey, I'm a great team player. I know how to cooperate. I have great cooperation skills. I'm easy to get along with. The next one is community. And a community is just a group of people that have similar interests or are involved in some activities or live in the same area. This is an example of a community. This is a group of people. They all, I don't know, They some people come here to sell things. Some people come here to buy things. Maybe it's a local market. A community of people who are interested in selling and buying food. You can also have a community on the internet. So people who visit message forums, Reddit, for example, Reddit has a bunch of communities where people can go to learn about different things. So Reddit has a community for people who like to talk about space or a community of teachers or a community of university students or a community of mechanics so they can share all their experiences and ideas with each other. Another word here is supportive. So here is supportive, somebody who helps another person. It can also be something not just someone. The mother is being supportive of the boy. She is helping him up the log or tree stump. Supportive can also be a system, something that helps you achieve your goals. These videos, I hope, are supportive to your goals of learning English. All right, so a team player. This, this woman here is a team player. She's doing something to help the team. And usually if we think of a team, we think of some sports, but a team is really any group of people trying to achieve the same objective. So here in this picture, these four people, nurses and, and the doctors, they're all working to try to save a patient. They're all involved in surgery. This woman here is supportive because she's got all the supplies and she's ready. She's a team player. She's helping out. She does what the team needs of her. That's a team player. Collaboration and collab. Collab is really short for collaboration. And I just realized this should actually be collaboration and collaboration tools. Collaboration just means working together. Collab is short for collaboration. And collaboration tools are tools or software that lets people collaborate or work. A collaboration tool could be Google Docs because you can work on it together. Google Slides, you can collaborate together to work on a project. Conflict 
resolution. A conflict is a problem. A resolution is a way to fix the problem. Here's an example. Conflict resolution techniques to understand how to fix a conflict. These are important skills for somebody in HR to have or for a manager to have. A manager should be able to resolve a conflict. The manager should be able to fix the conflict or fix the problem. The next one, if you work in certain fields, especially if you're a teacher, if you're a nurse or a fireman or a police officer, you have what's called a team building exercise. This could be a type of team building exercise. Maybe you go to do yoga or stretch together. A team building exercise is really just some type of exercise, game, or activity that brings people together. It brings the team together. It makes the team feel like a team instead of different groups of people. Okay, good communication. Communication just means to talk to somebody. It can be on the phone, it can be by email or text. Good communication means you are easy to talk to, you explain yourself well, you listen well, you are somebody who people feel like they can talk to, they're not afraid to talk to. The last one, listening skills. Listening skills are a part of good communication. The girl on the right here, she has good listening skills. It means we also look at the person so they know that they have our attention. You can see she's got really good eye contact. She's looking directly at her. This woman has good listening skills. One more time, we have teamwork, cooperation, community, supportive, team player, collaboration and collaboration tools, conflict resolution, team building exercise, good communication and listening skills. I will see you next time. Video number five is next. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out my other content. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with a friend.